You see this? See all these little birdies? This is what greets me every morning because I put food out for them and they go crazy in the morning. I don't know if you can see this. This is my feeders. And I'm getting these tiny little chickadees. They're almost like, they're about the size of a hummingbird. But um, they're just tiny, tiny, tiny. And they're just going crazy in my feeders right now. Because I put the bird suet out. I've got to put more out because they just cleaned me out. But, uh, yeah. And they fight. Oh, my goodness. They just, they're just constantly squawking. That's why there's bird poop on my chime. <laughs> you little buggers. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but it's like, it. well, it's been foggy for a couple of days, but the sky is like pink. Whoa, almost got taken out by a bird. Um, the sky is like almost purple. It's bizarre. And the fog horns are going. It's like, oh, it's weird. Hmm. Hello, yarned bees. How are you today? Today, I don't even know what day. I don't know. Are we on five or six? Or I have. I'm gonna stop counting because <laughs> I have no idea. I thought I'd wear my hat like this today, just because. I just wanted to be cute. <laughs> I put some makeup on. Hopefully, I look a little bit better than I have in the last few days. <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah so coffee today is called one love don't know why but it looked really dark and i was like oh boy put a little extra creamer <laughs> got my no drama llama mug today Even with a cream, a lot of creamer, that's a strong coffee. Uh, oh, hee 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 Yeah, it doesn't taste any better on the second sip. Okay, we're just gonna put that one aside a little bit. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. <coughs> All right. I'm a bit cold today. Today, the uh, weather, well, actually the last couple of days, um, the weather has been really foggy and really cold. And I feel like I'm in Nova Scotia or back east, Newfoundland or something, because <clears throat> we're right at the water. And, you know, the fog just rolls in and it's like a horror movie or something. But anyway... <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, speaking of movies, our question, I'll tell ya. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Um, I had never seen this Queen Latifah movie. Um, let me, let me, where is it? The question for yesterday was, in the movie Last Holiday, uh, why did Queen Latifah's character splurge on an extravagant Christmas? Now, I've never seen the movie. Can anybody take me seriously with my hair like this? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, and when I started seeing the comments roll in, I think I went Fifty Shades of Grey. Not in that way. I went like all grey. Because I realized you know, that I asked a, a question that, you know, after announcing the passing of Kimmy, I was just like, oh, that was bad timing. 
um, not my fault. <laughs> I had no idea. And you know what? To be honest, I think Kimmy would have laughed really hard about that. <laughs> That's the irony. You know, but anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the answer. She, she received a bad medical diagnosis, which happily, which, happy spoiler, turned out to be a mistake. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway so that was that was yeah okay um uh, so yeah uh, pretty much almost everybody that answered that question got it right so obviously you guys have seen it and I haven't <laughs> so let's do today's question we're gonna go like this and let's take why do I always try and get the ones that are the hardest to reach let's do this one <clears throat> Questions. Uh, 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 uh. Um, what kind of farm did President Franklin D. Roosevelt own in the 1930s? No Googling. <laughs> and it's not a pot farm. <laughs> I can imagine that. <laughs> uh. That would have been funny. <laughs> so, okay. So, put your answers down below for tomorrow. All right. <clears throat> that coffee is horrid. I am just, I'm not even going there. Okay, so what have I been doing? I, um, I was working on the sweater. I'm so sick of that sweater. <laughs> Be honest um it wouldn't wouldn't be so bad if i could <clears throat> just focus on doing the sweater and not all the filming and the tape the <clears throat> the um taping the tutorial and you know i'm designing it as i'm going uh which is hard to do on a tutorial or while you're doing a tutorial and i'm just yeah Excuse me. So it's taking me longer to do this tutorial than I thought because I'm just, I'm having a hard time keeping on track with it. Uh, I, I do bunch and then I put it aside and then I do bunch and I put it aside and I'm just going, can I just be done with this? But then I go, I need a break. And so what do I do? I start something else. I'm like, Ah, uh, what am I doing? I've got so many freaking whips. It's crazy. So, um, I got my yarn yesterday from, <clears throat> excuse me, from my friend Chris, uh, that she sent up for me finally. So I started to, I, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. I had to try and use that yarn on something, which I was going to use on the tutorial on Jennifer's tutorial for her sweater I'm gonna be making her sweater but I couldn't wait so instead um, I made Jennifer's hat <laughs> look at that I love it I love it. as soon as I saw her wearing this hat I was like I love this it's like I need to know how to do that I need to know how to do that. I'm going to put a pom-pom on mine, but um, I can't, I don't know where my pom-poms are right now. I'm sure they're downstairs. <clears throat> so, but I mean, let me turn this. Look at this. Like, I just, it, I mean, that just looks like little strawberries. I just, I love this. This stitch right here, I can't even freaking pronounce it. Um, but I, it's so pretty. It turned out so nice with this yarn. And this is the big twist in Yule, 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 Yule Tide. Okay. One issue I had, not with her pattern, <clears throat> is that, I mean, I used the same beige yarn that I'm using, um, uh, 
um, that I used for the, <coughs> holy cow, sorry guys, <coughs> I used for the squares for my sweater. Um, this, I, I was really surprised. This feels so soft and squishy, but it acts kind of like Red Heart. There's not any give to it whatsoever. It's almost like a cotton no give. <clears throat> so, um, I think if when I make this again, if I make it with this kind of yarn, I'm going to use a bigger hook because this band, this is a very tight, it's a very tight kind of stitch. It, there's, there's no, there was no give, none. So when I went to try it on, it didn't fit. It, I had to really stretch it. So I think I have to go up a hook, a hook size with it. So, but what I did, Jennifer ends hers with a half double crochet row. I decided to put like a front post back, like two rows of front post back post on mine, just to give it a little bit of stretch at the bottom. Excuse my hair. And I wanted it to kind of, when I get the pom pom on it, it's going to slouch down a little bit. But it's, there's not a lot of room, right? And this is, this has nothing to do with her pattern. This has everything to do with the yarn that was used, right? Um, if I was to do, I would love to do this in, uh, like a fluffy yarn, um, like not a fluffy yarn, like a six almost like a six weight, like a Serenity Chunky or something. That would be nice. But I don't know how big it would come out. Um, but I mean, it's beautiful. I love this. But it, it, it might, when it washes up, it might relax a bit. <coughs> but, huh. um, and then I want to put a pom-pom on it. So, but I just, I love the colors. You know, I'm hearing a lot of, I'm hearing from people that are using this new Big Twist Christmas yarn that they don't really like the colors because they think it looks like blood and they just, it's like a, a blendy kind of washed out color. I love that. I love that. I think that looks really cool and it really shows nice in, okay, let me switch hats. Hang on. <clears throat> Ow. <laughs> Having issues. Hang on. Change. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So there. Yeah. Alright. Um I absolutely love the coloring in this. I really do. I think the red looks cr like cranberry. Not blood. It looks like cranberry. Uh, which, I mean, there's another one that's red and white that everybody's going, Ugh, like, I don't like this. Now I'm thinking, yes, I want that yarn because if it looks like this, which I have a feeling it does, that would be gorgeous, um, in a sweater or a hat or whatever. Cause to me, it just looks like cranberries. I just, I love it. And then the way it turned out here, I, I had to color control it a little bit because there is, um, there's stretches of green, stretches of red, stretches of white, like a gray cr cream white. Um, and it just, I mean, the, the gray, oh, let's try this, this color here, it's kind of like a gray, but it's a, it's almost like a purple too. It's like a gray purple, which is really unique. And it's, um, when you look at it, I've got, got it a bit down here as well. Uh, when you look at it, you go, that's not really a Christmas color, but it, it really outlined it really cool. I think it was really cool, but I did have to take that 
white strand out because you it would have blended in with the the cream that I used <clears throat> so that's the only color control I had to do see that's oop, that's that purpley color so but I love this I, I just mm, I, I really like the way it turned out um on the top I did notice in order to get the stitches to really like stand out like that um the the way that jennifer did it it's it's like a single crochet chain three single crochet right well those single crochets end up being these if you don't put your <clears throat> when you're doing your um your um cluster your granny cluster if you don't do your granny cluster on um, once you're doing two granny clusters like you say in the corner if you don't do your three clusters on one side of this stripe and three clusters on the other side of this stripe these will kind of go together and you won't see this right so if you're doing your corners whatever and then you have your your uh, single crochet in there or whatever you got to make sure that you do your your three cluster and then your chain two three cluster but make sure that it's on either side of that stitch because if you don't these won't show up very well that I did find out but and then she said well you're, it's a square into a circle <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me like you it'll look more rounded mine's still square <laughs> so I did all the stitches that she did um but for some reason mine still looks it it looks like it went square round <laughs> there's no in between <clears throat> excuse me but that's okay that's totally okay <laughs> it's still a gorgeous hat I just I I just love this I just, I don't know you did a good job Jen like you really did I never would have thought to put this kind of stitch pattern together um, it it's a brilliant pattern I really enjoyed it when you try this and you get to this part don't freak out okay it's not as hard as you may think it's once you get into a rhythm you're gonna go oh okay you know um, and it's yeah I, I really really like it I really like it so thank you so much Jennifer for doing this pattern I am definitely gonna be making more of these um, I gotta find my pom-pom so I gotta make my, find my pom poms because this would rock a pom pom. <clears throat> so yes, I'm definitely going to be making more. Um, so I finished that. I don't even know what time of night it was when I finished that, but I looked over at my cardigan that I was doing, and I was just like, nope, still not ready. So I pulled up a pattern that I wanted to do and uh, mm, yep yeah, still mm -mm, nope still not good <coughs> okay <laughs> um Simona crochet oh, for god's sakes Simona's Simona crochet um you've heard me talk about her well the Cinnabons don't uh or Cinnabees oh, gotta get used to saying that uh, you guys won't know, but there is a YouTube channel called Simona Crochet. I'll leave her link down below. I make like any baby sweaters that I make is her chat, her pattern, only her patterns, because the way that she explains things at first, it intimidated the crap out of me. It, there was too many numbers. So I was just like, what? I don't understand. When I sat down and actually focused on what she was saying, excuse me, what she was saying, it all made sense. It totally made sense. Um, <clears throat> she does go a little bit fast on certain things. 
um, and she assumes that the people that are watching her channel know all this stuff or know how to crochet this kind of stuff or that <clears throat> are used to crocheting baby stuff or whatever. Uh, so for somebody who's never done it before, it can be a little intimidating. But once you get going on it and you do your first sweater or first dress or whatever, um, you start to understand what she's saying, understand the concept of what she's saying. At least I did. Uh, and I was so excited the first time I made one of her sweaters. Um, I've made quite a few since, <coughs> but she came out with a new one. <coughs> you guys, my throat is still messed up. <coughs> it's all jacked up. Um, so she just came out with a new one that is cable stitches. Um, <laughs> I think I've made a cable stitch once. Uh, it scared the crap out of me. But this sweater looked really nice. And spoiler alert, I want to make them for the boys. Uh, Mason and Axel, I don't know if I'll get them both done before Christmas. And I'm not going to be able to get Axel's to him um, in time for Christmas anyway. So I'm, I'm working on Axel's right, or er, Mason's right now. That's my <coughs> great nephew. Nephew, is that what he is? It? I don't know. I'm his Gigi. <laughs> I'm his and Axel's Gigi. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> anyway, um, they're both turning two. So I'm making a three, age three sweater just because they're actually bigger than they should be. They, um, they're going to be tall kids. They're going to be they're going to be big boys. Uh, so I'm, I'm always thinking I got to make it bigger. I got to make it bigger. <clears throat> um, so I am making this sweater right now. And of course, me being the extra idiot that I am, I decided to make it in black. And I'm going to be doing this striping in latte. Like, could I make this any harder? Um, number one, we all know black yarn. It's crazy. It's crazy. Number two, we know fuzzy yarn. It's crazy. Number three, I'm doing cables. Like what? I, I just finished the first, whoops. Um, first little bit here and it's so dark you can't even see it like oh my goodness but there it is and, and I'm freaking out I think I figured out the patterning um, I think I, I think I think I figured it out <clears throat> I know my friend Louise who used to come to the shop and visit me she's a yarn bee that lives up island she would be so proud of me hi Louise um because she the, she you man her stuff is I had remember I had some of her stuff in my shop oh <clears throat> her stuff is to me it's complicated it's really complicated um <clears throat> to her it's nothing she could look at something and go oh yeah I can make that I'm like, <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, so this for her would be like nothing. It, no problem. For me, it's not so much, you know, but now <clears throat> just using the black alone, I'm just like, what am I thinking? Um, but I really love the, co the colors in this. And I thought, you know, this would look really good with black. But now I'm kind of going, is it even going to show up? Like, is the cables, is it even going to show up with latte? 
Louise, let me know. Like, because I'm sure that you've probably used it or whatever. You're a cable queen. Let me know what you think. Should I be using this or should I just be straight up using plain yarn? Um, <clears throat> because, yeah, I'm a little concerned. I don't want to get myself in too deep here and then realize, oh, this didn't work out. Um, <clears throat> because doing cabling is hard. It's confusing, especially if you're using a dark yarn. I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Hey, we didn't do our... Really? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, so, so let me know about that. Anybody that's done cabling, let me know what you think because yeah, I may have to skip the fuzzy yarn and pick something else out. So anyway, okay, so considering I don't even know what the date is today, I don't know which one of these I'm supposed to be picking out for. I think we're on day five. Are we on day five? I think we are. And, uh, um, okay, so <laughs> I can't see the number. Oh, there it is. Day five, right here. <sighs> My grandson's better than at this than I am. Ah. Uh, we got a ball. We got a ball. <laughs> my my grandson. I'm, no, I'm not even going to say that because that's going to come out all shades of wrong. He keeps getting these too. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So I'm going to eat that with my new coffee that I'm going to get because that coffee is evil. Oh. <clears throat> anyway. My grandson opened up his, so let's go watch that. Okay, this this one. Another circle one. <laughs> Mommy has to open that one. All right, happy day five. Mm? Happy day five. Mm -mm. Oh, good job. Chocolate. Chocolate. You gonna eat it? Oh, thank you. him being all independent <laughs> oh I think he's having a good time with this I just hope that he doesn't think that this is a regular thing for the rest of his life <laughs> he's just like yeah okay let's open this today <laughs> I'm like oh no I hope I didn't corrupt him <laughs> so anyway all right that's all I've got for you today um tomorrow the girls are coming to clean my house <clears throat> I'm sure that they dread cleaning my house because <sighs> there's yarn everywhere you know every time they go to vacuum the floor there's yarn bits and it gets caught in their vacuum and then Karen yells at me <laughs> anyway um, <clears throat> so I uh, yeah um, so I was going to do the, what's it called? The Christmas bark or whatever, um, recipe. But after they come, I don't like, I don't like messing up the kitchen. So <clears throat> we'll see. <clears throat> Maybe it'll be a weekend thing. Uh, yeah, let's do it on the weekend. And then hopefully I'll have another part to the tutorial finished. I gotta stop procrastinating. I just gotta get on it. All right, I'm gonna go. Hmm. Okay, my camera just shut off and said that I was talking too much. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> All right. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, and I love you all. And I will try and come up with something for tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, I love you all.